and India, they've the classes are 45 minutes, but the kind of things that we'll cover in like a week, they'll cover in one 45 minute class. So it was just in terms of teaching style and class pace, it was that was really different. And so it's nice to be back at SMU where things are really just broken down for you and teachers really want to spend a lot of time with you. Every morning they would greet me and so they would say, Apke say hey, which is how are you? And I'd say, Meti kun, which is I'm good. The first long weekend, which was like a midterm break, I went on a trek and we went from 7,000 elevation, which is where the 7,000 feet elevation, which is where the school is, to 14,000 feet. And so that was really exciting. Um, it was a six day trek, also in, for um, what they called the Diwali Festival, which is the Festival of Lights. Um, a friend of mine invited me to her home in De New Delhi, which is eight hours from my school. And so, yeah, we took a long train ride there and I spent the weekend there and it was just crazy um, uh, fireworks. And uh, yeah, and we all got like matching Indian outfits and stayed up all night, all hours of the night, gambling, dancing and just having a good time. So one of the most surprising things for me was how easily I just slid into the culture. I was expecting a huge culture shock going to that part of the world. And what was um, so interesting for me and something I was, just, I was so blessed to have was uh, just like a very, very smooth transition. Like I don't think I got homesick till maybe even like two months after being there. So I just felt such a parallel with my home life and being there, which I was not expecting. I was expecting really like, you know, dramatic adjustment, which wasn't the case. And people were just, you know, accepted me with open arms. And I just, yeah, I clicked with everybody so easily. I fell in love with it from like actually like week one I was like I could stay here forever. It's definitely I think yeah, I'm definitely coming here for me is the culture shock like it was it was going to a place like Missouri you know being isolated from everything you know at a hill station in the Himalayas that was like that was just a smooth that was smooth for me but I think it's coming to smooth where I like I find a, a culture difference for me personally and what I'm used to at home. It's just it's really nice to be back at a school system that is just um, really works for the students. Five months being away, um, I, we, I was a little nervous about you know having to catch up. Uh, but honestly, most of my classes were um, pretty much parallel in terms of curriculum. I'm actually quite a bit ahead in a few of my courses. I have a feeling that kind of like what I've learned from this trip is something that's gonna like unravel as life goes on because it's it was something that I just enjoyed so much and it was. Um, it was so easy going for me and it was just a very enjoyable experience and I just made so many good friendships. So if you're considering going on exchange, I'm all for it. I completely enjoyed myself. Um, it's just one of those things that especially being, you know, being in a different country, being in a different school and community for, you know, a good few months or so, that's it's definitely enough time to just, you know, tap into the culture and really like make friendships with people that will last. Like I'm still like, writing letters to all my friends at Woodstock. Um, and if you're worried about, you know, missing things at school, like that's not a problem. Like, you know, SMU will always be the same when you come back.